the brightness of this day has given me the opportunity to bring you this video welcome back to my channel winging it with ac my name is ac i know it has been a million years since you last saw a video upload from me please start forgiving me in your hearts because it's not my fault i am alive and to the very few people who checked on me thank you so much we did we did we did life has been lifing but god has given us the grace to survive so we are here i am well i do not intend to take a break i just could not bring myself to um film and then days tend to weeks weeks tend to months but we are here and this is just going to be before i even get to the video happy new year happy new year and happy new year again february is almost over the first quarter of the year is about to be over in a blink of an eye but the lord has sustained us and we are entirely grateful to god so today's video is going to be a very um short one i believe i hope and i am just going to share with you another thing that i have learned or i learned a while back and today i discovered another one um where you can use certain verses in the bible to pray for your children so uh, let's get to it okay so i just wanted to share with you um a prayer that I prayed for my little humans um, before I got pregnant with them, while I was pregnant with them, and even after I've given birth to them. Now, um, it was inspired by the verse I read in Luke. Um, actually, it was inspired by Luke 1 verse 41, where um, Mary went to visit Elizabeth when Elizabeth was pregnant with John. And when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Even in the womb, the Holy Spirit was dwelling in the baby such that he recognized the mother of the Messiah. Right. And so I don't I don't remember how I got the. I believe it's the Holy Spirit that gave me the revelation way back. But. It spared me to begin to pray that the Lord will fill my children with the Holy Spirit, even from the womb. But there's a verse to back that, and that is earlier in Luke 1 verse 15 that says, um, the, la the latter part of the verse says, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from birth. And this was when um, the angel was given instructions about John's um birth you know john's conception and then giving instructions anyway so based on that i used to pray that lord fill my children with the holy spirit even from the womb when they are in the womb and i remember that you know how and um, when you're pregnant you tend to track the development of the baby especially when you use some of these baby apps and then they tell you that this is weak five the heart is beginning to form the heart has begun beating the legs are forming this is forming that is forming i think there's a book that also gives specific prayers for each week of pregnancy and depending on which part of the body is um is forming so i remember very well especially with the second um immediately i tracked because i think with the second i found out earlier that i was pregnant before week five uh-huh so honestly immediately his heart started beating that's when nausea went started and went through the that's when everything just went crazy so as far as i'm concerned i knew <laughs> when the heart started beating but i was more specific about it even in that week where the baby development would say the heart is forming the heart will start beating that lord fill my baby's heart with the holy spirit right from when his heart begins to beat now today i was reading psalm 22 and i discovered another verse to back this um so um psalm 22 verse 9 to 10 and i'm reading from um the passion translation lord you delivered me safely from my mother's womb you are the one who cared for me ever since i was a baby since the day i was born i've been placed in your custody you've cradled me throughout my days 
and you've always been my God. So the prayer topic that came to me when I read this verse today was that, Lord, I have handed, I'm handing my baby over to you. And before, you know, pregnancy, before conception, you know, you can always pray that, Lord, this child is yours collect the child you know and it's it's a scripture you can stand on to say father you did it for david david was able to say that lord from the time you delivered me safely from the womb you have been with me i was placed in your custody and you have you have cradled me throughout the, my days you have always been my god from the womb you have always been my god so we can pray over our children that lord all the days of the lives of our children may they always be in your custody may you be their god God from the womb throughout their days you know we can co continue to pray these prayers continuously and as I've learned and I believe the word of God is God and God doesn't lie when you pray with the word of God you are praying God's will and God will surely make sure that as you have prayed his will he will make it come to pass god will cradle your children he will take care of your children even when you are not here on this earth he will ensure that they go to their graves still with god being their god i hope this blesses you and i hope this encourages you to pray these over your children and even if you don't have children yet and you may be 18 and you're watching this you may be 21 children for you are way far in the future it is never too early to start praying for your children god bless you and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next video bye